Neil Carlson here with the rather chilling story of what sounds like an attempted abduction in uh, Grand Forks Thursday evening. Uh, on the phone with me is an area woman, uh, Zoe. Uh, tell us your story. What happened? Where were you and what happened? Um, I was in Grand Forks just stopping at the CVS to pick up a prescription for my daughter. We had just left the walk-in clinic in East Grand. It was around 7 p.m. Um, I was just, I dropped off the prescription and was just walking around the store waiting for her prescription, and I didn't notice anything weird at all. I was just browsing random things. And when I was leaving the store, um, I went out the first set of sliding doors of CVS, and then as I was going out the second set of doors, I had to sidestep to get out the door because I was walk- walking towards the wrong side. <laughs> and when okay. I sidestepped, I noticed somebody like had to sidestep so I wouldn't run into them. And I hadn't noticed anybody close to me when I was leaving the store to begin with. And um, as I was walking out, I noticed he was walking intensely close to me like behind me and I got kind of freaked out then and once we hit the road he veered off to the right to the other lane of cars because I was parked in the left lane of cars so I just thought okay I just cut him off that's that's it that's why he was walking close to me and then as I was walking we were kind of parked towards the end of the parking lot um there was a silver car facing with the trunk out to the road, two spaces from my car. There was a space in between. And as I noticed right before I got to the silver car, the same man sprint from behind a big pickup. I couldn't see him until then. He walked behind the other vehicles, and I wasn't really paying attention to him because I thought he was Uh just looking to his car over there. And he sprinted towards me. So, of course, I started, like, not sprinting, but, like, walking faster to my car because I wasn't sure what this man was doing. And I looked at, into my car because I knew my husband was in there. And I think, like, once he got closer to me, he noticed what I was looking at and saw my husband. And by the time he ran right in front of me, right past me, I was directly behind the silver car. And he hit the top of the car and jumped in the driver's seat at the same time I'm now jumping in my driver's seat and quickly asking my husband if he saw this, he wasn't paying attention, and we look, and the trunk was open, like, as they sped away. We couldn't see the driver because we were parked facing the opposite direction. Oh, my. And it was very, like, terrifying. Again, I, like, told myself I was being stupid when I got freaked out just leaving the store yeah. so I was like oh no I'm just being paranoid and then that happened and I've never had like an experience like that in my life <laughs> so so you you felt like you were going to get shoved in the trunk maybe if you hadn't seen your husband yes well I was telling my husband like before we looked I was trying to tell him really fast when I jumped in the car I was like I feel like he was just going to like drag me into the car and when we looked to see their car driving away, we noticed the trunk was open. And I was like, oh, my God, no, he timed it out. So I was, by the time he would have, like, hit me, I was right behind the car. Okay. Now, have you reported this to police? I have called the police when I got home. I was in disbelief and had my crying infant in the backseat and still had to drive 20 miles home. So. Okay. So so you did talk with police, so? Yeah, I called the police, and then I have to go in to talk to an officer. I have to go into okay. the police department. Well, well, that's good. Hopefully, I mean, there's a ton of surveillance cameras around 32nd, around that store and area, so maybe they can find something. So. Yes, I've talked to um, a lady who works at the CVS, and she was going to talk to her manager today to see if they can pull the footage. So I okay. described what I, was, what I was wearing and stuff to her, All so right. hopefully they can okay. take it out. Okay. All right. Well, glad you're okay, and thanks for telling your story. Yeah, thank you. We'll keep you updated as to any new developments on this story. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.